Uh, hello. Hi guys. So, I uh, I kind of I I thought this would be an obvious video that someone would have made by now, but I have looked on YouTube and no one's really made this video yet. Um, so I thought I would make it. So that is having uh, yeah the video is as and you probably read in the title having real actual displacement in EV, um, which is something that obviously we weren't able to do for for um, for a very long time, not until uh, until geometry nodes. Um, and so, yeah, I guess that's kind of the, the disclaimer of this video is you're going to have to have a new version of, or newer version of Blender. I'm using the 3.0 beta. Um, yeah, and the benefit of this version is that you can do it like it's with geometry nodes, so you can use it both in EV and in cycles. Um, Obviously, I, I know there's this other version that kind of makes like mesh layers that is kind of popular, but uh, yeah, there's just pretty basic geometry node stuff. So, uh, so yeah, I'll just kind of show you what. Uh, yeah, first of all, this is just like a little. I'm trying to just trying to work on this idea, so it's a bit of a weird scene, but this is just like where I did the work. Um, so this is normally kind of the way that you make water. I guess the Ian Hubert way with the Musgrave texture. Um, plugged into a bump into the normal um, and as you can see this has zero zero dimension it's all just um, fake bump trickery and this um, yeah this plane isn't actually moving at all and it, it still looks pretty good if you play it from here like it totally looks fine um, but it would be kind of nice to see like up in these like where it where it hits the the actual um, like the the edge you know the <laughs> where the water meets the not water um, that part it'd be cool if we could actually see like um, some wavy bits and ideally if I was better at this I could make like a like a wave displacement thing kind of coming off of that so it looks a little bit more realistic or something but uh, we're not doing that so yeah right now we're gonna we're gonna get rid of that. So we just have no, just the material, the dark material for shading. Um, and then I'm gonna turn on my geometry nodes dealio. Boop. Cool, and you can see now, if we go to the side of this, whoa, actual real life geometry displacement. And we are in Eevee. Would you look at that? Um, the only the only rough thing is uh, the playback performance. It's not as EV as you would like. Um, I I kind of doubt it is 15 frames per second because it seems to be checking along at like one frame per second. But if you do what I did and just turn off the the thing until you actually need it, um, then it's okay. But anyway, I've been talking now for. <laughs> For like three minutes, I haven't even showed you the whole the whole point of this thing. So let's go over to geometry nodes. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty pretty basic setup. There's the one for water, but you can plug whatever texture you need into into this um, group, and it should work. So uh, the first thing I did is I added a subdivision surface because this wasn't a super high uh, high fidelity plane that I made. Um, but yeah, and then you do a set position um, node to set the positions, and uh, obviously you need to do a position set into into the position to make make it go normal to like reset to like have the plane where it, where it always has been, um, and then you're gonna add um, these ones. <laughs> <laughs> these nodes. Um, so you have your Musgrave texture, and you're only going to take the Z data because that's all we want for for water is the up down. Um, and then I map ranged it so we could control um, the the depth. So like if I if I change this to like one or something, you're going to see that it goes a little nuts. Um, I'm still kind of working on. I don't know why it, it does that. I'm I'm still not very good at geometry nodes, but yeah, if I wanted it super super crazy, I could do that. But I don't. I just want it at 0 0.09. That's what I'm happy with and what looks good to me. So we add the position of the plane and the position of these vertical up and downs um, into the 
the set position and then it goes up the geometry and then we get uh, we get some actual actual real life geometry and uh, yeah another cool benefit um, I know there's like another that that version of displacement that that guy has made I I'll <laughs> put a title here because I, I should know this but um, where it just like layers all the all the meshes uh, it doesn't really work so well in cycles but this one theoretically should work totally fine in cycles and as you can see it does um, we're still having all the all the normal displacement because that's uh, geometry nodes that's just what geometry nodes does so um, yeah I hope this was helpful um, this all just kind of clicked for me I, I, I'm this is an exact copy of a node group that I got from watching Crossmind Studios video on geometry nodes they have one on displacement I'm like oh cool we can finally do that um, and so I made this video so yeah I hope you enjoyed that bye